They stand to attention. Starter pulls the lever and they're off and racing. And Leonessa didn't get the best of beginnings. Kit Kat Katie, on the other hand, one of the first to hear the starter and goes off to lead them by just over two lengths. Past the bat and his right up there, the work of life holds the fence past the 1,200 and only two lengths off the leader. Then comes Villa Samaya bobbing its head up and down with the yellow cap. Further back is Zoom Lady, and that's relaxed about five lengths off the leader. She's a clobber, travels alongside Drum Skit, who's got the red jacket. They only about six or seven lengths off them. Further back is Leah Nessa, then comes Count Your Chances, one from last. And out back is Green Bubbles, about 12 lengths off the leader. So in front is Kit Kat Katie gone flat out now gets given a bit more rain and goes five lengths clear make that six lengths make that seven lengths past the 600 in second is past the bat and the work of life Leonessa then comes Villa Samaya Zoom Lady she's a clava green bubbles and count your chances needs to get past them all but Kit Kat Katie is off and gone like a dirty shirt has gone seven lengths clear in second is past the bat and Leonessa green bubbles the work of life but it's Kit Kat Katie who's crying for the line, still three lanes clear. Leonessa out the pack is past the baton. The work of life's on the inside. They're coming from everywhere. On the inside is past the baton. On the outside, count your chances. And count your chances wins going away. To beat into second, past the baton. The work of life is prominent behind that. She's a clava. Zoom lady, Villa Samaya. And Kit Kat Katie has stopped to a walk. 31045 numbers that you need for race number 4 Kit Kat Katie is crying for the line she went 7 lengths clear into the straights and count your chances takes that daring run you can see it got very tight she's a clover was right there well done to Fani Bronkost well done to Craig Zaki and to Mr Wolf bred by the Oldland Stud Farm past the bat and run second the work of life on the inside for third and then came number five, She's a Clover into fourth. Well, we just learned something here that Craig Zaki's half Scottish. I mean, you could have told us that earlier. Count your chances. Finally, wins hard up on the outside rail. Farney Bronkhorst is the winning trainer. Well, then to Jock Wolf and uh, bred by Oldland Stud. Uh, Craig had a little bit of a, a deep draw, but um, finished on strongly towards the outside. How did the race go for you? Yeah, first of all, thanks for sticking me away, Ali. I'd rather be Scottish. <laughs> I've married a Scotswoman. No, it's not me, bad genes, sir. I've got the best of both worlds. Um, no wonder you're punchy. <laughs> Each comes with their own surprise. Do you have a kilt? No, definitely not. Do you eat kibber? Yes. Oh, so you're more Lebanese. Um, how did the race go for you? It went really well. Um, didn't have the best of jewels, but you know, I've ridden this fully once, and I remember that day uh, finally telling me loud and clearly, um, Craig, just give her a chance. It's not a filly you'd need a jaw with. Um, she likes to hunt them down. If you have a handy, she's one pace. Give her a chance, she'll definitely run to the line with you. And that day I was just touched off. I needed the four more strides and I'd probably win. And today I just stuck to that task. Uh, Fonny's not here today, but I remember him saying that today again, no, no draw in her favour. And I just went, I'm pretty what I felt the first time I got a border. How much did that pace help you? Because Dennis was on his way. Um, but still, you had to close in. You had to do your work at the end. Yeah, the pace was really, really fast. I'd, I was, I was running at my top speed uh, just about from the word go and you know I just bided my time. Um, I know when I do press, press the button he, uh, she's going to respond and I was lucky I was able to uh, get some lengths up until the 300, find a nice run and she, she did the rest. How does the rest of your day look? Four more rides, all for Tony Peter. You've got Say Yes, Chance, Sirja Velman, I think, big chance, uh, Ozenker chance, and at the uh, bank you got Brosnan. Good chance. So what do you think? Yeah, I have four really nice rides coming up for Tony and his team. I think Sirja Velman uh, could pub probably be my next best, and Brosnan to follow that. But all four, good form to back them up. A um, little bit of luck in running, and I'll be right there. Thanks, Craig. Well, they've, uh, the ROA have said, right, no owner, so Craig wearing the silks can carry the 15,000 rand check. You must have won a few in Jock Wolf's colours. Yes, I've, I've won a few for a lot of people, so it's just always a pleasure. It's nice that the owners get this um, 
incentive. It really goes a long way. And just well done to Mr. Wolf. Uh, another uh, win in his colours. Always a pleasure. To Fani, I cancelled this filly down actually, and she can be known to be a little bit scratchy, but she cancelled on with an amazing action. And I knew he banged her to the course today, probably at her best. So well done to Fani, great training feet, and to my sponsors, Maritz Fantini and Wilkebosdrift. Thank you. What language is Brang? Brang. <laughs> Trevor's here representing Fani Broncos. Jod, Fani fresh off wins in Durban earlier this week. Well done, Trevor. Thank you very much. It's so all good thanks to the team back home. Uh, well done to Mr. Broncos and also well done to the owner, Mr. Jakov. Such a good win. Well done to Craig Zaki for a good race. You colour coding the light blue with the light blue. Is that is that intentional with the beanie? Yes, uh, it's all match. So uh, if you see blue, you see a dangerous colour. So well done to the team back home. Well done, Trevor. You got one more runner, Kayla's champ. She, oh, I know she's a good old favourite of the yard. How's she going to go today? Yeah, she's got a good chance for winning box balls. Last time she ran second, and it was nice race. So today I expect big for for her. Who's the groom? Uh, the groom is uh, Sanele. Sanele. Well done to Sanele. He's getting 1,500 rand coming the way of uh, Sanele, courtesy of World Sports Betting. Well done, Trevor. Good to see you. Thank you very much. You know, we're lucky here on the half felt with uh, the various right hand men of uh, Sirs and Trainers Trevor Bronkhorst. We obviously got Nicholas Pettigrew, Shepard Dawson, we've got David de Kock, uh, we've got uh, Charlotte Terry, and all the rest of the guys as well. So, um, yep, nice to uh, get to rub shoulders with them. Count your chances out the maidens in race number four today.